Aloha friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing and doing a flip through through a first grade of a Becca curriculum. But before we start, if you're new here, consider subscribing and click notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Also, I have a couple of videos on my channel that you might appreciate. One of them is day in the life of two of my kids who are going through a Becca Academy that day. And another one is just me talking about Abeka Academy in general or Abeka curriculum in general and how to make Abeka Academy work for you. And I'll link those right here. Well, these are all of the books that come with the first grade. If you are buying the entire tuition, when you're buying the tuition, you get the books, you get teacher's keys and all kinds of things. And you get three sets of DVDs, which contain 170 lessons for the entire year. Now, if you stick around, at the end of this video, I will be showing you some samples of the videos inside. What the teacher looks like, how does she teach, what the kids look like, what the classroom looks like. You will be able to see everything at the end of this video. Okay, so the first thing we'll look at is video manual. This is a book you will be using every single day. Abeka has organized all of the lessons in this one book and it is very easy to use. So for example, let's take a look at lesson 112. In this column, you see all of the lessons, Bible, seat work, phonics, writing, arithmetic. In the next column, you see it says preparation. So you will be looking here every day to see what papers your child needs for that day um, for their classwork and seat work. It will tell you what books to get ready for them. So basically everything you will need for that day is right here. The next column is procedure. And here they tell you what you as an on-site teacher need to do with your children for each lesson. So this is very helpful. All of these lessons are pre-planned for you. Um, on the DVD, the teacher is giving all the instructions. Now at the very front of this book, there are all kinds of helpful material. Uh, here's abbreviation key. Here's time schedule, introduction. If you are starting a Becca for the very first time, you really want to read through all of these things to understand how everything works. Here's a sample schedule, teacher's instructions, how to use daily guides. So I will not explain all of these things. You can read all of these for yourself. They also teach you how to grade on all different subjects. And now you start the daily guides that we just looked at. Now at the very end of this book, there are also helpful things here. You got all kinds of appendixes, appendix A, appendix B. Um, you've got all the memory verses here. Appendix B is about seat work. So a lot of times besides the seat work that the teacher assigns every day, you will have to come at the back of this book and see for each lesson some extra things that they assign for you to do. Now, if you are parent-led and you're just doing things on your own, you don't have to do these things. And especially if your children are doing well in certain areas, you don't have to make them write all day long or read certain things all day long. But if you are accredited and you're trying to do everything to a T, this is where you're going to go for your extra seat work. There are all kinds of charts on the back as well. Appendix C is for writing. And it actually gives you very helpful papers of the children who are in school with your children on the DVDs. And these are basically their papers that are graded, like this one is B, this one is A, and you kind of can see where your child fits in here. So this is helpful when you are grading your child's writing. Here are some more things for you to read before you start. And at the very back, you have progress reports that you will be sending out if you are accredited. You don't have to do this if you're not accredited, if you're parent-led, but it would be a good idea for you to still keep your child's grades in a file. So these papers are exactly for that. Here's a home teacher's copy and the copy that you are sending off to Becca school. And that is basically it for the grade one video manual. Next, we have an arithmetic workbook. This one is for your child. And this one is for you. This is a teacher's key. So if we open up lesson seven here and lesson seven here, this book is basically giving you all of the answers so you don't have to figure it all out yourself. Of course, in the first, second, and you know, all, this, um, all the earlier grades, it's easy for you to do, but 
I found it uh, time consuming when you have to figure out all these things yourself, when you could just look at the pictures and just compare, you know, six, six, four, four, three, three, and then you are done. You don't have to actually sit and make all of these um, math problems, even though they're very easy to do. So this is the teacher's key. You see that all of the answers are in blue, but let's take a look at the actual book. This looks like a new edition because it looks a little bit different, a lot more cuter and a lot more colorful than the one that my daughter went through. So this is really neat. Kaden will be going through this first grade this year. They're going to be learning all kinds of things, addition, subtraction. They're gonna be learning money. Um, they will be doing subtraction this way, um, vertical way, horizontal way. And it starts out very easy, but when you get to the end, it is a lot more advanced for that age. Um, at some point there will be clocks, there they are. So they teach you how to read an analog clock. And there's lots of cute little clocks for them to learn from. I really love how colorful everything is and how thoroughly thought out everything is. And not only that, um, every season corresponds with the picture. So for example, around here we'll have Christmas time, right? Um, they'll be also learning calendar and how calendar works, how the time works. Um, and then when we get closer to the summer, then you will see more summer based pictures, right? So this is just a wonderful, wonderful curriculum that we really enjoy and have enjoyed for a few years now and kids really love it. Oh, and at the very back you have my growth chart where you can record your child's growth in fall, in the spring, in winter. Okay, next on the table is letters and sounds, phonics seat work text. Again, you have one for your child and you have one for you. Again, with all of the answers. So it's very, very helpful when you're checking all of their papers. But again, let's take a look at a book. Again, it's very cute, a lot of pictures, very colorful, very thorough. This will teach your child all of the sounds, all of the letters, how things work in a, in a word, in a sentence. There's a lot of repetition in Rebecca, but it's all very good. And like I said in my other videos, if your child learns quickly, then they can go over it very quickly. But if your child takes his time, then this is very helpful because there's a lot, a lot of repetition. A lot of different activities, word searches, which my daughter loves. And again, everything, all of the pictures are corresponding to the season that you are doing the work in. Next, we have language, seat work text, grammar, creative writing, reading comprehension. Again, you have one textbook for your child and another one is for you with all of the answers in blue. All through the year, they have different themes like farm, at the sea, or they're going through different countries. In this book, they'll be writing here and there. And I encourage my kids to write in cursive, but sometimes you can write in um, print, I guess. They also have very helpful tips here at the top as they're learning something new. For example, here they're learning syllables and it divides the word into syllables here like flower, wood, pecker. So everything is very visual and very helpful. Since we went through first grade before with my daughter, I can tell you that she has learned so much and the progress was just unbelievable. And, and even myself, I was learning with her a lot because English is not my first language. My first language is Russian. So a lot of the things that I didn't understand made sense to me now because I was learning it with her. I definitely, definitely recommend a Becca curriculum. Another neat book you get is Spelling and Poetry. And this one, they will be working with the teacher at school as she instructs them. So as you can tell, there are a lot of activities for your child to do all day long if you let them, but, and it could be overwhelming sometimes, but what I do is I just look at my child and how he or she is learning and kind of adjust things for them. If they're learning fast, if they're grasping the concept, I will let them skip a few things as long as they can still perform on their tests and show that they're understanding. 
the concept. And if the child is a little slower, then I will take more time and give the child more work in that area that he's struggling in. Okay, here we go. Here we have some poetry that they will be learning and memorizing. These are just really cute and beautiful little poems for children. And they all teach very good morals in them. And of course, as you know, Abeka Academy is Bible-based. Next up is writing. Writing with phonics, cursive edition. Penmanship and creative writing. And this has been very helpful. They show you how to form all of the letters and the teacher goes over it every single day, especially in the beginning. And the children really learn how to write cursive. And in fact, cursive, I've heard, is much easier for children to grasp than print, apparently. And I really found it to be true with my kindergartner. I was really worried how he would do with cursive, but he did very well um, considering, and um, I'm just really excited for him. So as you can see, we start out with just little single letters and then we go to blends and even sentences. And with this book, you also get three of these first grade writing tablets. And these are just basically a ruled paper that your child can practice in. And they will be using some of these in school. Um, I can guarantee you they're not going to go through all three of them, maybe through one. But I like to keep these after the school is done because they can practice here even in the summertime. Okay, now we have some more fun books that are a little thinner, as you can see. This is History and Geography Reader, My America and My World. Your children will be learning the Pledge of America and they'll be repeating it every single day. They will teach them about history, about money, about... Um, presidents, different important figures in our history, as well as geography. Very colorful. These are actual pictures, not drawn out, but photographs. Here they're talking about Mexico, England, Israel. It's very, very fun. Next one is Community Helpers Activity Book. In this book, they will be learning about all the community and community helpers, such as my pastor, firefighters, police officers, teacher, doctor, nurses, dentists, farmers, bakers, servers, the mayor and postal employees. So again, this is very colorful. A lot of these are photographs and children will be learning this with the teacher. The teacher will be explaining things as well as they will be looking at this book while the teacher is explaining everything and telling them stories about it. It's just really fun and they have all kinds of activities here to do. Another beautiful book you get is Discovering God's World, which is basically science reader. Very, very colorful and easy enough for kids to read eventually on their own. Again, this is science. There's all kinds of activities and things to try for them to do. And of course, the teacher will be doing um, all kinds of experiments on the video as well. So it's just a really, really fun book, even just to have by yourself. Uh, my kids really like to take these books to church to just look at the pictures or read if they can read. So very, very colorful, very, very neat book. talking about plants, talking about animals and how everything works. And of course, all of it is from biblical perspective. And the last one here is health, safety and manners. And this one is teaching your children how to take care of themselves, of their own body, how to be safe. Like here we have health, safety, manners, my growth and habits. It's just a very, very helpful thing to learn in school. Healthy eating, exercise, getting your rest, sleeping, all these good things. Um, washing your hair, combing your hair, brushing your teeth, taking care of their clothes and dressing up properly for different occasions, their safety, 
how to behave on the street when you're uh, on the road, on the bike, how to behave in the water, how to be safe in the water, how to be safe at the playground, and even in some disasters, um, their manners. So they teach them so much to be helpful and kind and courteous and generous and just all of these good Christian values are just put in into your children every single day and I really really love it. Okay, we have a couple of textbooks left. We have Bible Friends activity book here and this is an activity book that your kids will be doing during the Bible time or during their seat work time sometimes. Um, all kinds of fun activities. Sometimes they have to cut, sometimes they have to glue, sometimes they have to color. Sometimes if we don't get to do these in school, we take these to church. And boy, this book really keeps my children happy and busy at church, so I really love it. Another fun book is Art Projects, of course, and this is my kids' absolute favorite. So in the contents here, they show you which month you will be doing which project. Then here they talk about techniques and concepts. Um, also, they give you the entire plan ahead supply list. It's rather lengthy and one thing I don't really like is that you have to buy a whole pack of things just for that one craft and as we all know things could be expensive especially if they add on with this list so that's my only drawback with these crafts but the kids absolutely love them and sometimes what we do is when I don't want to buy a certain thing that they need or if we just can't find it we'll just come up with something that's similar and just gonna have to get creative here too so here are some of the crafts that they will be doing. Very colorful, very fun. They'll be drawing, they'll be cutting and pasting, painting, um, doing all kinds of different techniques like that. Um, and again, all of the crafts are also corresponding to all of the seasons and holidays. So here, for example, we have napkin rings for the Thanksgiving dinner, right? For Thanksgiving. And these are super cute. We even have a picture where we were using these for our Thanksgiving dinner. And this is a Christmas tree for Christmas. Hidden message Valentine envelope. And so for most of these crafts, you just need glue, crayons, scissors, you know, just simple things like that. But once in a while, you will need some other things like magnets and um, cotton balls and, you know, different um, tissue papers, things like that. Now, here are some extra things that come with this curriculum. And that is a cursive formation flashcards or guides. Basically, these are very large flashcards um, printed on one side and they show you exactly how to form that letter. And of course, the teacher goes over it like 100 times. So your children will definitely learn how to write cursive. So that's very helpful. Um, also, we have all these reader books that we'll get into in just one minute. But let me show you a few other things. We have a reading answer key, and this is for those books. By the way, these are all the books here on the picture. These are just questions to ask your child as you're reading all of these books together or as they are reading them. Then we have letters and sound test key. So these are all of their tests. Whenever there's a little yellow um, rectangle with a grade, this is a test. Now, these are actually not the tests, sorry. These are the key, right? This is teacher's key, which shows you what your child should write there. This is the test. So the test book is kind of matte and the teacher's key is glossy, so you can kind of tell. Um, so here are all of the tests, phonic tests. And these are the tests that you will be ripping off. All of them have special ripping line here that they rip off very easily. And you will be sending these to Abeka Academy if you are accredited. And another one very similar is arithmetic. So the tests here look like this. Here it says written grade and oral grade. And what that means is the paper itself is the written grade. But the same day, you will be giving them an oral grade by just giving them combinations to answer orally. And those combinations you find in a video manual for each day. And then another thing they do is a speed drill. 
So speed drills are basically when your teacher gives the kids one minute to do all of the subtraction and addition, all of these problems, and see how fast they can do it. And it could be really fun for your children. And then if they did well, you put a sticker here for each one. And you can kind of see what they're testing them on, all kinds of things, you know, from money to just numbers to rulers. Um, they teach them how to measure things to um, clocks right here. So they learn a lot in this year. They even start teaching them foot, gallon, pound, all of these measurements. And then at the end of the first grade, they start doing fractions. Very simple ones. Now, another thing you get are these envelopes. Basically, here's an envelope for you already with printed address for Rebecca. All you have to do is put your address, put all of the tests for that grading period and send it off. Now we're almost at the end. Now we have all of the readers here. So the first thing we have is a primary Bible reader and they will use this book for several grades, I believe until third grade. So these are all kinds of um, scriptures or parts of the Bible with pictures and everything. And they will be using this to memorize all of their scripture texts. Another thing is handbook for reading. And they start them off with, you know, the letters and then the blends and then the, um, the words and letters, letter blends. I really, really appreciate Abeka's reading program because like I mentioned in my other videos, I was nervous when my kindergartner started kindergarten. And at the beginning of the year, he didn't even know completely all of the letters, to be honest with you. And by the end of kindergarten, he was able to read small, like he was able to read these things, like little, um, little sentences with simple words. And I was just amazed and he was so proud of himself too. So we're really excited because in first grade, they will be reiterating these things again in the beginning of the year. So um, even if he gets a little rusty over the summer, um, he will still do well, I believe. Now, here are the readers. You get, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine readers. This is the easiest one that they will be reading first, right? And as it progresses, it gets a little more difficult. And then um, the very last book, there's a lot to read. And as you can see, it's more like a chapter book, actually. Again, lots of pictures. Kids just love these. Right now, my youngest is asking me to read all of these uh, at bedtime to him because he's really interested in it. Stepping stones. I like how the print is really big here in the beginning. So it's very, very easy for them to read. So these are all of the books that come with your curriculum. The only thing that we have to do now is to take a look at some lessons. You will see Miss Howe, the teacher for first grade, and you will see the way she teaches, the way she interacts with children, as well as how everything is organized on the DVD lesson and how you can use these for your homeschool. Students watching and boys and girls in our classroom, let's begin by standing and we'll say the pledge to the flag together. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Now let's sing together our patriotic song, America the Beautiful.
students watching, let's begin by looking at our words on the board. Read the first word to us, students watching. And what word do you see, Jacelyn? Bad. There's two words in this word, so what do we call a word that's made up of two words? Compound word. It is a compound word. What about this word here, Bailey? Bailey. Fantastic. This word, students watching. And read this word to us, Leah? Yeah. Wonderful. And our Grandpa left in the barnyard for her. She likes to eat it. She might be a good mother. She keeps her baby chick with her all the time. Great expression. Continue reading for our students watching in Kendra. Thank you, Will. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Grandma. Mm-hmm. Good expression, Vegan. Let's read that again for more speed. Students watching and boys and girls in our classroom, it's time to begin our phonics lesson. Now in front of you, students watching, you should have your phonics worksheet. Remember, this is the worksheet where you get to show me how much we've been working together during our phonics lessons. Take your time as you write this worksheet and think about every answer before you write it. Put your finger on the first box and eyes. Tre. Tre. Students watching and boys and girls in our classroom, we are ready to begin our writing lesson. I want to see how well you students watching and you boys and girls in our classroom can remember our cursive letters. I have our cursive letter guide here, but do you really know exactly what letter I'm going to point to? We'll find out. Let's start with this one here and students watching, what letter do you see? And what letter is this, Kendra? F. Wonderful job. What about this letter here, Tyson? C. Good job, boys watching. Watch me as I start our capital letter P. Now a toucan is a bird, so it has a wing, and we're going to start with the wing of our toucan with capital P. We're starting right here at the upstairs midline. We're going to curve all the way up to the ceiling, and then we're going to slant down to the carpet to make the leg of our toucan. The next thing we're going to do is retrace carefully, but we're not going to the top. Notice where I start to make the beak of my toucan. I curve. I touch the ceiling, I finish his beak, and I stomp right against the back of the toucan. Students watching and boys and girls in our classroom, we are ready to begin our arithmetic lesson. Let's begin by standing, and we will say together the seven edition family. The seven edition family. Zero yeah. plus seven equals seven. One plus six equals seven. Two plus five equals seven. Three plus four equals seven. Which meant Hannah S versus Isaiah. Six. Six is the right answer. Good job, Hannah S. Good try, Isaiah. Six. Tie. Let's do another one. Five. Tie. Students watching, they're fast, aren't they? Six. Students watching, we have all girls sitting on the bales of hay. We have all boys who want to move them off that hay. One. One is the right answer. Good try, Tyson. Let's go to our next set. Students watching, have you been faster than they are? Six. Xavier was a bit faster. Good try, Hannah S. Let's go on to Rio and Jaden. Zero. A little bit faster for Rio. Good try, Jaden. Next is going to be Brock versus Hannah A. Four. She was a little bit faster. Good try, Brock. Students watching and boys and girls in our classroom, we're ready for our activity lesson. In this activity, we have an art project that we're going to get to make, and we're going to be able to take small pieces of paper and turn them into something really wonderful. Now, right in front of you, students watching and boys and girls in your classroom, you should have this piece of paper, and I want you to notice something. Students watching, boys and girls in our classroom, we have another part that we want to do with our pilgrim hat, and that is to make a buckle. Right in front of you, you should have a piece of foil, and all you need to do for this foil is I want you to take this foil, and you're just going to bend it into the shape of a square. And there, taking that foil, you're able to make a buckle right for the front of your pilgrim hat. Students watching and boys and girls in our classroom, we'll keep working on this art project and students watching, you can keep working with your on-site teacher. Well friends, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. I hope you've learned something new and I hope you're encouraged to start a backup with your own family. I hope you all have a happy rest of the day and until next time, aloha!